Hey, hey, welcome to Live with Lynn. So if you're here, say hi. If you're watching the replay, be sure to type replay so I know you were here. I'm Lynn Huber, and I appreciate you being here today. So today I'm going to talk about 10 things you do that are holding you back from success. You know, we all know success takes hard work and perseverance, right? But there's another factor that's often overlooked, and that's mental and emotional strength. Like most positive traits, it comes more easily to some than to others, but anyone can work to develop it. And so to develop mental strength, you have to be willing to take a hard look at how you live your life so that you can discover what you need to work on and what you need to let go of. So I have 10 things that I found that might be what could be holding you back. So number one, you compare yourself to others. It doesn't matter what we're doing in life, you know, whether it's starting a business or learning a new skill. It's so easy for us to look at someone else who's farther along the path than we are and expect our results to be similar to where they are today. You know, we only see them where they are today. We don't see the struggles, the mistakes they made, and all the course corrections that they made every single day to get to where they are now. We don't see all the years of everything that's gotten them to where they are today. And so it's so easy to forget that they had many struggles to get there, just like we do, right? And so you feel inadequate, you know, you might feel incapable and discouraged, but you should be comparing yourself to you today with where you were yesterday. This is going to help you get a more accurate picture of the progress you're making. Number two, you ask yourself the wrong questions. You spend your time and energy wondering if, if, right? If what you're doing is possible, if you're good enough to achieve it, if it's the right thing to do. Those types of questions don't help you. Instead, they suck the energy and the motivation out of you. Change your questions to how or who or, you know, instead of if, right? Such as, how will I make this happen? What's my first step? Who can help me with this? And then spend your energy finding answers that will help you move closer to your success. Number three, you wait for others' permission. This is kind of huge, right? I mean, we all want those who care about us to approve of what we're doing. And so we create a story that their approval means that we're doing it right. We don't want to disappoint. And so when we hear a flippant comment or an unenthusiastic reaction, it can paralyze us. You know, I run into this a lot in my Avon business. I bring in new representatives and I help them get started in their own business. And the first time someone says something to them like, why would you ever sell Avon? Nobody makes money doing that. Poof, they're gone. You know, they just can't handle that. Or, gosh, my why would you sign up to sell Avon? My aunt, my cousin's uncle's friend's neighbor did it 10 years ago, and they have still have a garage full of Avon. I mean, we've all heard those kinds of stories, right? But, and I get it. I get it. It hurts when people we love don't agree with what we're doing. But you know what? It's really important to trust your gut and your heart. Live by your standards, and you'll be much more likely to create a life that makes you happy. You, number four, you wait for the right time. You keep putting something off because it's not the right time yet, right? You you need to make a few more improvements. You need more experience. Um, You need to learn a few more skills. You wait for the economy to improve. You wait for the weather to get better or the pandemic to go away or, or maybe for a sign that you should get started, right? This is just your mind playing delay tactics. I mean, the right time is always now, always. Only by getting started are you going to discover what else needs to be done or what you need to change or what you need to improve on. You're not going to find those things out until you start, never before. So the right time is now. Number five, you expect instant results. What? Your mind tells you. You put in so much effort into this and no one's noticed. That's that. This is a waste of time. Might as well stop now. This is true in so many areas of our lives. I bet at some time or another, you've had those kinds of thoughts, right? But, and again, I see this in my business, you know, (laughs) a new representative will say, I just don't understand, you know, I posted a link to my online store on Facebook. Why do I not have any customers? No one wants to buy from me. But you know what? It takes time to build a business. It takes time to get good at something. It doesn't even it doesn't even have to be Avon. I mean, whatever you're doing, it takes time. You have to develop skills. You have to get better at it, you know? So be patient. Be persistent. Give yourself a realistic timeline to achieve the results that you want. 
Number six, you don't take action. Action is critical, right? You make lists and you make beautiful plans. You rewrite those plans and then you use the latest app on your phone to capture them a second time. You discuss your plans. You visualize them. You criticize them. You do everything but act on them. You have to act. You have to take that first step. Your first step, as imperfect as it might be, will be much more useful than all the plans in the world. Your first step might actually change all the plans you made in the first place. So spend most of your time on acting, not planning, if you want to get somewhere. Number seven, you create fake busyness. Have you ever done that? It's so easy to get busy doing things that are not income producing or that won't move you forward or on whatever you're working on. You know, I've seen representatives spend all their time playing with new apps, making sure their Avon website is perfect, uh, maybe even getting lost in Facebook, right? Days might go by where you think you're being busy, but you're really doing nothing. If you think you might be doing this, take a step back and ask yourself where your actions are leading to. If they're not leading to tangible results, then you know you need to be spending your time doing something else. Number eight, you listen to everyone but yourself. You're new at this. You seek advice, right? Everybody has an opinion on the subject. You sit and you listen. You assume any, everyone knows what they're talking about and that you have to follow what you read. Otherwise, you might fail, right? The problem is the advice is, is taking you in so many different directions, especially if you're listening to more than one person and you end up paralyzed. By all means, read and learn and then let your own heart and your instinct guide you. Trust yourself and know that you will find your own best way of doing this and it will be just right for you. Number, number nine, you assume talent and not persistence is the secret to success. If I had any talent, this would be much easier. I'm just not cut out for this. <laughs> Have you said that to yourself? I Oh, this isn't for me. I'm just not cut out for this, right? <laughs> when you first start a project, any project, right, you discover it's a steep uphill struggle to get where you want. Nothing comes easy, right? But you forget that there's always a learning curve when you start something new. Always. You always have to, you have to get started. You have to take that first step and maybe that second step. And then you might have to take a backward step. That's just how it is, right? But you turn it into the whole idea that maybe it's you that's lacking in some way. That maybe you should aim a little lower or try something easier. Don't do that. Don't buy into this mindset. Anything that you do is going to get easier the more you do it. The better you get at it and the more you do it, the easier it's going to be. And before long, you're going to be like, whoa, that was easy. I don't even know why I was worried about it. But you have to get there first, right? Persistence and not talent is the secret to success. Seriously. So stick to it. Keep working at it. And eventually you're going to find yourself at the top of that hill. And number 10, and this is a big one, you're terrified of failure. Don't let failure weigh you down. Instead, wear it like a badge of honor. You took a risk and it didn't work out. Hey, it's an awful feeling, but you should recognize that you aren't alone. No one succeeds without failing sometimes. So, and if you can't, you can't be successful if you don't have that failure, right? You need to be able to assess what went wrong. Learn the lessons that you need to learn so now you can move forward and make better decisions and, and change what you're doing, and this time it might work, right? Failure is not the end, and it's, it's not. It doesn't mean you're bad. It doesn't mean you're not good enough. It doesn't mean anything. All it means is you found a way that doesn't work. So now you know that doesn't work. Now you can try something else. Seriously, you have the ability to create your life. Once you believe that you deserve better and that you do have the ability to achieve greatness, then your confidence will start to soar. You will do whatever it takes, one step at a time, to create the ideal life for yourself. You just have to do it, and you'll get there. So, hey, now I'd love to hear from you. What kinds of things are holding you back? You know, what kinds of things help you to get over them and move forward? Please share your thoughts in the comments below. I would love to hear your stories. Anyway, thanks for being here live with me. I don't see anybody live. I don't know if it's my app not working. But if you are live with me, thanks for being here. And if you're watching the replay, thank you. I appreciate all of you, every one of you. So thanks for being here. Have an amazing day. And I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.